Hi, I'm Chris from Mustang Restorations of Dundee, Illinois. I've been doing a lot of how-to videos on how you guys, uh, to help you guys fix your own Mustangs at, at home. And um, one of the things I did last time was to show you the anatomy of the cowl of a Mustang. What the heck is underneath this whole thing that's in front of your windshield here, uh, over there and how the heck it works. Well, now that you know what's underneath there, I told you I'd uh, do a video on how to fix it without taking that whole thing off of there, without creating a lot of paint work, and without possibly busting your windshield. First thing you're going to want to do is take your fender off. Be real careful taking it off. You can take it off without chipping it. Get your fender off of there, and then you're going to want to make a slight cut on the top of the upper cowl right here. If you do that, you can actually hinge this thing up and out of your way. What you're going to find under there is a cowl cone that is most likely rotted around this floor area here. A lot of dirt, debris, and, uh, and in this case, a lot of mouse droppings. Uh, a mouse nest got in there, and that's what makes the moisture that rots the whole floor of this thing out. But this is what you're going to see up in there. You're basically going to be doing a lot of the work from the inside of the car as opposed to the outside of the car. So you're going to want to pull your front carpeting out, your seats out of the car, uh, which is a whole lot easier than pulling the windshield and this cowl off of there. And then you're going to want to cut this out of here. When you make this cut, then you're going to want to fit this piece here. This is one of the new replacement pieces. They more than 9 out of 10 times give you more than you need. So just because you got this big piece doesn't mean you got to cut this whole thing out of the car. In this car here, we're only going to probably go up to here, bring it up to about here, and then around here, and then hang this lip out of the side. Let's walk over to the passenger side of the car and I'll show you one that's already set up. Like I say, what you're going to end up doing on this side is pulling the heater box out. When you pull the heater box out and then you open up this, this side here like you did the other side, this is what's going to be inside there. This thing's going to be all rotted away. So you'll cut this thing out, make some cuts, pull this out of there, grind it, and then you'll get the new piece and basically fit it in there so it comes up and over the edge. The inside edge here is going to go on the floor of it and then the outside edge will come on here. So you'll clamp this in place. It's a good idea to fit the heater box back in there to make sure this is where it should be because sometimes they're one way or the other, inside out. You want to make sure that the heater box is going to fit in there well. Once you do that, then you can fit it to the floor, to the old floor of the cowl, weld it, and uh, seam seal it. You do that with a little bit of undercoating, the flow of water is going to come right out the side here, and you've avoided making all sorts of paint work as far as the cowl goes. So I know I've probably made it sound a lot easier than it is, because it isn't that easy of a job anyways, but if you do the way I do it, you'll be able to make it where you don't have to create paint work. And a lot of guys have cowls that are rotted out, but they have nice paint jobs. So they're not looking to bust up their, their windshield and bust up their, uh, their body to, uh, to get to this thing. Uh, so keep an eye on my videos. I got a lot more of them coming. I hope this one helped you guys out. And um, keep an eye on a lot of other things I got going around in my shop. I do some uh, Friday afternoon uh, shop tours and a lot of other different things we're doing here. So until next time, keep in mind that this doctor is always in. Take it easy.